Hi guys, it's Kathy, Mrs. Handy Are You. Um, I'm back again and I'm going to decode, well not really decode, it's more like reporting on um, an episode that Tom Numbers did with Negative 48. They were on Roseanne Barr's show a couple days ago. So yeah, it was the 19th. It was August 19th. 2021, in case you're watching this a lot later. Uh, let's see. His name, negative 48's name, he says, is Michael Brian Protzman. Protzman? And uh, Roseanne said in the beginning, she was hysterical on this. She, you guys have to watch this. She said, I wrote a joke. I won't tell you what the joke is because it's too funny. You have to watch the, sh the episode. She said, I wrote a joke. And then um, Michael, or negative 48, says 132. I, I wrote a joke is 132 in simple gematria. And uh, A is 1 through Z is 26. And I, I use gematrix.org. But obviously for these notes, I'm using what? Negative 48 told me, you know, told us on the Roseanne show. So I wrote a joke is 132. So she said that and he just immediately got it. That's 132. And uh, he's also said 132 is JFK Jr. is alive. So what she said was basically JFK Jr. is alive. Isn't that cool? Um. He said, John F. Kennedy Jr. is 218. It equals one day soon. It equals Operation Sunrise. And that's with a U, S-U-N, but you can think of it in your head as the sun, S-O-N, is rising. Like Phoenix is rising. The sun of JFK is rising. You know. Um, he also said vertical meat suits equals 188. So the people that are walking around the masks and the silly people, 198. Um, or brainwashed, I should say. I mean, it's not always their fault. They, they, they watch too much news and they don't know any better. So I guess I cut them some slack sometimes. Depends on my mood. Um, yeah. And, the, and like I said in the last episode, and... Um, he reiterated this on the show with Roseanne and Tom Numbers. He said, um, Patrick Kennedy's not dead. He didn't die in the hospital three days after he was born. You know, he's not dead. Because that was in August of um, 1963. And supposedly JFK was, you know, gone November 22nd, 1963. So it was very soon before... You know, yeah, the supposed thing happened. I don't even say the word. But he said, Patrick has a PhD in Middle Eastern Studies. And I used to talk to him occasionally on Twitter. At least I think it was him. He was talking about Libya and middle, the Middle East and Gamatria. So, you know, I think I was talking to him. It was either that or an AI that the White Hats put out that was like Patrick. It, Sure seem like him. I don't care if I talk to AM, AI when I was back on Twitter. That's fine. I got lots of information if it was AI. <laughs> um, and he said Arabella is not dead. Cause, so Arabella, the, 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 other, the do other daughter of JFK and Jackie, not dead. And I just, oh, he said Arabella, comma, she's not dead. And the way he said that, he emphasized she's not dead. So I, I, I thought, well, I'm going to figure out. And he because he said it at 1035. And like I was saying in the last video, I look at numbers when they say certain things. So 35 is JFK. So the way he emphasized she's not dead. So I decided, okay, we're going to figure that one out. She's not dead is 114 equals keystone. Well, Michael, who is Junior, who is Juan, 
all those people wrapped into one is the keystone. Or it's dad with them. The keystone, I don't know. You can look at keystone in different ways. Probably dad. Um, 114 is also trump card. Uh, frequency. And uh, guardian angel. And I've been talking about guardian angels in my last couple of videos. Maybe three ago. I don't know. I was talking about guardian angels. I had my guardian angel do something awesome for me, but that's a whole other story. Yeah, it's not not long ago. Um, yeah. So one one four is also Saint Michael, and that's another person we're talking to. So he calls himself Michael negative forty eight, who was on with Roseanne and Tom. Calls himself Michael, and. Um, John, he is John, he's, he's Junior. Junior was St. Michael, so I know it's hard, but just go with it for a minute. Um, 114 also equals Archangel Ariel, Ariel, and I'm thinking that's Flotus. You know, I'm thinking that's Melania because the next match I had was um, 114 equals First Lady. You know, he always says, our, when our wonderful First Lady and I came down the escalator, and he, he says First Lady a lot when he's talking about her. He says, First Lady, I said to the First Lady, you know, he doesn't say Melania. He, he says First Lady usually. So... Anyway, so this skips around a lot. I'm sorry, but that's, that's that's the way these shows and conversations go. And like I said in the last video, um, negative 48 is on Telegram, and he has uh, a regular chat where you can just talk, typing, but he has voice chat too, which is kind of new on Telegram. And that means when the, the mods let you take a turn to talk, and so if you're, it's not like a free-for-all, you, you can talk to him or to each other or to the mods and get all kinds of information or give information, whatever is going on, you know, have a nice conversation back and forth. And I got to do that once. So I'm still excited about that. I'll, I'll be excited forever about that because I got to talk to John because that's who this is. That's who negative 48 is. It's John. So anyway, um, he said, all people that have AB negative blood are in the Jesus bloodline, directly related to Jesus. And I, like I said before, I wonder if we're all supposed to have AB negative and then our blood is just corrupted somehow. Um, see, he said 153 is the 17th triangular number. And I don't have it written down how he figured it out. It's it's like stacking things up into a pyramid numbers. Um, anyway, 153 is the 17th triangular number, and 153 is John Kennedy Jr. And Roseanne said something. Um, yeah, Roseanne said something about getting, she would get in trouble for speaking too often or, you know, just saying things that probably she shouldn't say or interrupting people. And she said, I got myself in all kinds of troubles, is what she said. And um, Michael, John, you know, Michael, negative 48, he said, I've gotten myself, myself there by being too quick myself, which sounds a little awkward, but that he said, basically, the way I look, heard it was, I've gotten myself there by being a little too quick. And to me, it was time travel. So, uh, let's see. This is exciting. Are you ready? So it's the great awakening. This, this is what John, Brian, Michael, I should say Michael Brian. Negative 48 said, the great awakening is about the second coming. That's what's going on. 
That's what the Great Awakening is. Uh, so while you process that, <laughs> and he said, drop 40, wait until you learn who has been talking to you here. You know, that's what's going on. Um, he went back to the time that you've probably seen it online when Oprah was, had Donald Trump on as a guest. It was a long time ago. And he was sitting up on the stage and she's down in the audience and he calls her Nopra. So I thought that was cute. Um, Oprah asked DJT, would he run for president? And this is what negatives said. He said, probably, this is what uh, Donald Trump said, probably not, right? When she asked if he'd run for president and he says, probably not. And when you decode that, probably is 91. And that equals POTUS. So right there, he's probably equals POTUS. Not equals yes. Not is 49 equals yes. So yes, POTUS. That's what he really said. That, that's what he said all those years ago. That equals 140. That equals 140. When you add 91 and 49 together, POTUS yes. 140 is child trafficking. He knew who he was talking to. He knew what she was all about. He knew what he was going to be working on. He knew all those people. Um, and uh, negative said, Trump is still our president. And we, we know that Trump is still our president. And we know who's vice president too. It's him, Junior. And he was talking about when um, POTUS said, what was it? It was November in one of the rallies. He said, let's face it, Joe's shot. And uh, negative says, Joe Biden is dead, November 20, yeah, November 2020. He said, James Woods is Biden, but I talked to him, I talked to Negative on the voice chat a couple days before this. I mean, he doesn't know me from a hole in the wall, but anyway, it doesn't matter. But I told him my theory about Cary Grant and um, Steve Martin and all those people on my Who's Biden theory on that video. And I told him about the Telegram uh, links and how one would link to another and all of that. Anyway, so he did say James Woods is playing Biden. So, you know, I can be totally wrong. I'm just saying I, I did get to talk to him about it. But what, what he said was, when I mentioned how odd it was with the links, he said, well, when you... Um, have something that keeps happening over and over again, which is what was happening with the telegram links on those different people. It's more than a coincidence, basically, you know, then, then you're on to something. So it made me think I had something. I still, I still think I have something, you know, but it's probably not time to, even if it was true, it's probably not the right time to say that him to say that like he said before um i'm talking about negative 48 michael who is junior it's just not time to say that yet out in public you know so yeah let's see so this was cool so roseanne asked him um so who's playing pelosi and he said that, well, they say, this is what he said. They say Joan Rivers is playing Pelosi. And I know I've seen Joan Rivers after she was supposedly gone with her agent. Um, you can find it on YouTube, Joan Rivers Alive or Not Dead or whatever it is. 
And she's in a Clouseau video with Johnny Carson. You have to look at that one. Johnny Carson's not gone. He's here. <laughs> so he's so fun. Um, Roseanne said Nancy looks like an old racehorse. Like, because she's a little low. Whatever. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that. I love watching this. Michael says, um, negative says, Q, Q, Q equals 51. So if you add Q, 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 17, three times, and their, their number is always times three for their most power for a spell, you know. Q, Q, Q equals 51 equals Michael. And then he says, well, Michael is the strongest angel out of all the angels. Michael is the strongest. He says, nine ninety nine equals most high. And I'm using gematrix.org like I always do. Uh, 99 equals most high. So if you enter most high in there, it's 99. 9 plus 9 is 18, our, our R, Junior, which you can look at as 9... Nine nine, he, you know. There's other ways of looking at these numbers, which I didn't know until I started listening to him. That you can look at a nine and a nine as ninety nine, instead of just eighteen. So that was that was really interesting. Um, ninety nine equals judgment. I am Mister Casija, or Co Co, whatever how you however you pronounce it. I am Mister Casija. And 99 is Patriot. Let's see. Um, JFK, JFK Jr. are Jokers. Let's see. How did I get that? Oh, Jokers is 78. 78 is Kennedy. And he said in the, in the Bible, Genesis is the first book, obviously. Genesis equals, um, if you enter Genesis in DungeMatrix.org, you get Kennedy. It's it's 78, and it all also equals Kennedy. Exodus is the second book, and that's 58, and that equals Trump. So you got Kennedy and Trump right there in the beginning. Remember that back when he said tippy top, and on the board somebody asked, and Anon asked, supposedly, you know, it asked an POTUS to say tippy top. So within a short amount of time, that POTUS said tippy top. You know, we keep the White House tippy top, he said. And it might have been when he was with the Easter Bunny, who was probably John too. Uh, yeah, on the balcony. Anyway, he said tippy top and it equals 137. That equals our Vincent Busca. That's 137. Um, and Michael also said he's always dropping bombs. Michael's always dropping bombs. He said, um, John Denver is the short Vincent Fusca. I don't know if he's the one that I have my picture taken with. He could be, but I thought that the one I had my picture taken with was, um, Prince Anthony Radzowell, John's first cousin and his friend, best friend. So, you know, I could be wrong. It could have been John Denver. But I don't, I don't think it was John De Denver. You know, the the person I have on the on the channel with my little face on it with him. I got I saw him at um the 4th of July a couple of years ago. He was at Trump DC Trump Hotel in DC and yeah, it was really fun. We had so much fun. Anyway, let's see. Oh, and in Af Afghanistan, all that stuff's going on in Afghanistan right now, and everybody's all upset about the Anons, too. They're upset about what's going on in Afghanistan, and they feel like, well, what about all the people left behind, and what about the Americans, and what's going on, and we need to get President Trump back in there and all kinds of stuff's going on, even with people who are kind of know what's going on here. Um, 
but I was watching somebody, I was Janine, I love Janine, Tarot by Janine, T-A-R-O-T, -T, in case you don't know, Tarot by Janine, and she said, she saw when there were all those people running next to the, the plane, one of the military plane, our military planes, and it looked like chaos. She said there was somebody running along, one of the Afghani people, and they had, one had a MAGA hat on, you know? <laughs> It's all fake, you know, this whole thing is fake, um, set up by us, the good guys, I should say. And there was a fake plane, so Negative said there was a fake a fake plane, like a blow-up plane, they, like they use in the movies. So, one of the planes we saw on the news was a fake plane. <laughs> oh, I don't know, and poor Roseanne was so upset when they were talking about that, because, you know, she's thinking about what... United States really did the CIA and hurt different countries and it was it was sad I, I understand why she was upset uh, and he brought up again like I said last time he brought up again that CPAC this year was um, the real state of the union and POTUS had to deliver a state of the union because he's still POTUS so that's that was the state of the union address uh, let's see. And he brought up uh, that the date of the plane crash was 7 16 99. And, you know, Junior's plane crash where he didn't, wasn't in it. it. So you add the 7 July and the 1 from the 16. Add the 6 and add 99. And it's 113. One, one, which was the date of the election. So all this was so figured out. It's all comms. And this is it from Michael Jackson's supposed last concert that he was rehearsing when he died was is 113. And not true is 113. So the election results on 113 equals not true. <laughs> so, and the best is yet to come. 228 and Michael Jackson Moonwalk is 228. This is all from negative 48. And he said at the State of the Union there wasn't two people in there. So he said it immediately. And I think he's I think what he meant was he said it quietly. I'm going to keep Guantanamo Bay open. And we're going to make it wheelchair accessible. And he said, um, we, he spent 200, 200 billion remodeling Gitmo and Trump doesn't waste money. And he says, yeah, he's going to use the wheelchair ramp. No, I'm sorry, he used it a while ago for HW. And then he brought up the red tie, the extra long red tie that POTUS always wears and that people tease him about because it's kind of long and he doesn't have his jacket closed. Did it on purpose so that they talk about it. So red is 27, tie is 34 in simple gematria. So JFK is 27, DJT is 34. Isn't that cool? Uh, now, let's see. Tom brought up, <clears throat> excuse me, Tom, Tom Numbers, who's on this episode with Roseanne and Negative 48. Tom said, in Terminator 2, he loves movies, so he decodes things in movies. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, the date 829 was mentioned as, as Judgment Day. So 829 equals 198. And during this episode, negative 48, who is Juan, who is John, who is Junior, um, said everything. You, sh you should mirror everything. Like everything. So whenever you see something, you should mirror it. And I don't always do that. I don't, I don't think about that. I don't think about it in that way. So I was thinking when... Tom brought up Judgment Day was in the movie and it was on 829. I was just thinking, what if 
instead of 829 being judgment day? What if it was backwards and you read it 928? So I don't know. That's just a thought uh, that judgment day could be on that day uh, date if you mirror it. So let's see. 829, yeah, is 188. If you if you mirror it and do 928, it's the same thing. So either either way, it's all decoded with the same answers. Um, let's see. So 198 is, uh, let's see, calm before the storm. So there you go. Statue of Liberty weather modification, murder by numbers, the last trumpet, rise to the occasion. This is not a test. And that to me, that sounds like the emergency alert system, EAS, terrorist attack. And you guys probably know that I think there's going to be all kinds of, wait, FFs, going on when everybody's uh, sheltering in place <laughs> for all this stuff. Smooth operator. That sounds like the EAS again. We are the news now. Also sounds like the alert. I mean, we, we call ourselves the news now, but when the TV stations stop broadcasting, that's like us, you know, the, the good guys, I should say. Uh, doors shall be shut, like in a fallout shelter. I don't know. I wonder. The resurrection. And you probably know that I think it'll look like something happened to POTUS and it'll be fake. The resurrection. So you can look at that in different ways, obviously. Um, all things are revealed. So this all goes with that, that date or the reverse of that date. Blow the trumpet. That sounds like an alert, too, when you think about it. So, yeah. At the end of the interview, um, Michael, negative 48, he let the camera go down, you know. So, likely he had it on a tripod. And what, they were, what he was showing was a computer screen. So for, you know, like Roseanne would talk and you'd see Roseanne, you'd see Tom, but for negative, you'd see a shot on a computer screen and it was of um, a guy, likely him, because John does all this kind of stuff, on a, on a motorcycle coming towards the, whoever took the photo, and coming towards you. And he had a white helmet on, like a white hat, right? And... Behind him was an, an RV. So <laughs> so he's driving along in an RV and wait at. But at the end of the interview, it looks like he took the, the um, phone, the camera, off the tripod. And it went down just for a couple of seconds towards the computer keyboard. So you saw the, um, the photo, I mean, the... the, the uh, the shot on the computer, then it went down. For a couple of seconds, you saw the keyboard, like I said, and there was a green folder sitting on the keyboard, and then there were four D batteries, kind of made a square. Um, so, yeah, why? And you go, why was that? And right off, I thought, well, it, it, the way I thought, I thought of it, at least for that moment, I mean, there's other ways of looking at it, uh, I, I thought, well, 4D, fourth dimension, you know, because we're always talking about ascension and going, moving on and all that. So that's the way I looked at it. So I did fourth dimension. I mean, you could have literally looked up 4D batteries, and I think you would have come up with something very similar. Fourth dimension is 190. Are you ready? It's, this says, proof I'm God himself. So, 
Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they're all combined. They're all the same. They're all together. They're all part of each other. That's who these people are. POTUS, JFK, and JFK Jr. And it might take a while to realize that or to... All I know is through all this decoding and what I've been hearing, that's what's going on. Um, proof I'm God himself. And then my guy that I'm always talking about that comes up in every single decode I do, just about, um, and every day, at least a couple times a day, Raymond Edward Kasija matches 190. And then the next one that I got was, it's my entire name. So that's, it's my entire name. And then God, December, DEC, 7. So, and remember, Ray Edward Kasija anagrammed is Jack ordered away. So JFK was not the one in the car. It was likely clone. I don't even think it was a double. I think it was likely clone. And uh, so that's, that's why you saw what you saw. Uh, let's see. Then green is for the green folder is four not four nine. And that equals Mr. R. For 18 is R. And that's our junior. So that's why there was a green folder. Four nine is real ID. Not dead. End game. Dallas. Then, after the camera went down and showed the um, the batteries in the folder for a second or two, then the camera went down further. So it kind of sound, it looked like he took it off the, the uh, tripod, kind of put it there on purpose, and then it went down towards his legs and feet. And guess what? He was wearing jeans and cowboy boots. <laughs> Oh, it's the first time we've seen negative 48, and he was Juan. And and we've already figured that out, that he was Juan, that he's John, all that stuff. But he also had, um, so I, anyway, I thought I'd figure out what cowboy boots were, because I haven't done that before. That's 154. That's Alpha Omega, Lord God, the Lord himself, the second coming. And uh, that's what he said earlier in the, in the interview. He said, the Great Awakening is about the Second Coming. That's what it is. And that's what cowboy boots mean. And I don't know why I didn't look at that sooner. Um, and then the Chosen One. Remember POTUS saying, I am the Chosen One. He said it twice when he was outside with the reporters. You can find that on YouTube if you haven't seen it before. Um, I am the chosen one. Well, well, they're all part of each other. They're all, they're all pleading. Ple, ple, P-L-E-I-D-I-A-N. I'm having issues with that. Um, anyway, he also had black jeans on, which I noticed right away. You know, they're black denim. So I thought, well, let's put black jeans in. Guess what black jeans are? 78, which is Kennedy. You know, everything's everything's figured out. It's amazing. It's just amazing. It's also Robert. So it's Kennedy. It's Robert. It's Patrick. We've been talking about Patrick Kennedy being alive. October. And we, you know, because of uh, our favorite Anon's posting, remember the hunt for red October all the time. And at the time, maybe we thought, at one moment, you know, it was for the election, getting everybody to vote red. October is when I saw uh, JFK in the stands a lot in the, at rallies. And he would, you know, have his mask down so he could see his profile a little bit. There was one where he had his mask all the way down. And, uh, oh, and his eyes, he's got the most beautiful eyes. They're... Um, Hazel, I think, or I don't know how to, well, greenish, I guess it depends on what you're wearing, right? Hazel kind of changes a little bit, but to me, they look 
a little green, greenish. Maybe they're more green. And um, he just looks at, when I saw that, he looked at us and he loves us. I mean, he loves us so much. You could just see it. Um, it was awesome. Just, just awesome. Oh, and uh, 78 or 78 is also God's name. So it's Kennedy, God's name. And a funny one that I noticed was great job. And POTUS is at it, um, rallies and meetings and all kinds of things. Even even now, he'll say to people, you know, like helping with a campaign or say they won their election or say, he'll say, great job, great job. And he's going, Kennedy, Kennedy. Or he's saying, Robert, Kennedy. You can look at it that way, too. Uh, oh, and uh, before I forget, uh, Lynn Wood brought up, and he gives comms, and you can decode everything he does, phrases, all that stuff. He's involved in all this. Um, he said, September 11th, we have three or four weeks, have three or four weeks of supplies on hand. So he brought up September 11th. And um, as we figured out previously, that's, um, that's Christ's real birthday. So anyway, Linwood brings up, have three or four weeks of supplies on hand and I I do I don't know about you guys but I grew I grew up in Maine and I'm in New Hampshire now but you're supposed to have all kinds of food and water and stuff on hand and I mean you didn't know when you'd be out of power for a long time and whether you couldn't get through on the roads and things like that so we're we're used to being ready for all kinds of things and then people in hurricane areas you know, Florida and Texas, they're usually ready too. Well, maybe not. People haven't lived there that long, but anyway. So I don't think it's a bad idea to be ready. Um, it's never a bad idea to be ready for chaos of whatever kind, weather, you know. Um, I mean, look what happened with toilet paper. <laughs> you know, we got to be ready for these silly things. Um, and did you know that um, way, way back, it was a long, long time ago, but Johnny Carson, who was alive, like I am always saying, he's alive in a Clouseau video, and and nobody was invited to Johnny Carson's funeral. I don't know if you knew that. Not a single friend, not a single relative. Okay. And he knew everybody. So, yeah. Anyway, so he caused... A uh, run, which is really funny, does he even say that? A run on toilet paper. He had a joke in one of his his uh, opening monologues, and he said, "Oh, did you know there's a toilet paper shortage, and that's all people needed to hear? And you know, if you play the game of telephone, you you know how that goes. It doesn't come out like it's a monologue. It comes out that Johnny Carson said there's a." shortage of toilet paper. So everybody ran out and bought toilet paper. And he had to come back on again at some point and say, you know, I'm really sorry I caused all the problem with the toilet paper. I didn't know that this was going to happen. Well, yeah, he did. This was planned. Guys, it was planned. He said this on purpose way back, you know. <laughs> it's so funny. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, so I did that. Uh, then I, I thought right after the Roseanne interview, so I already got through the cowboy boots and the black jeans and everything. And I was, I was going, okay, we're going to do Michael the Archangel. So I did, I did that. I decoded Michael the Archangel, and that's 153, which is interesting because it's got a reverse 35 in there. Comes up. John Kennedy Jr. Everybody said, oh yeah, he's Michael the Archangel. Well, there you go. Michael the Archangel equals John Kennedy Jr. Uh, let's see, what else is interesting? Great Goddess Diana matches 153. I remember I, I brought up that crypto thing in the last episode about Dogecoin. Like, I, I don't know if I said it right, but D-O-G-E-C-O-I-N. Dogecoin standard. Take it for what it's worth. 
Um, how about this one? 153 is faked his own death. Triple crown. That's POTUS, JFK, and JFK Jr. It's all three with the crown. Jesus died for me. Well, that's true. So true. Prince of Water. I thought that was cool. Prince of Water, because we're supposed to watch the water, right? Seven Archangels. Vietnamese Dong. I don't know if you... I think the correct way, you don't say the G, but most people do. And that's the, the money that will be having a, a lot more value when the reset happens. Crisis Actors. Um, lime Green Dress matches 153, Michael the Archangel, John Kennedy Jr. And there's a famous pictures and video with Melania, our awesome floatus, wearing a lime green dress. And uh, if you watch Santa surfing, she has it on in the beginning of her video. She's on rumble.com. Uh, and Negative at one point said he thought of Melania's dress when she wore it that time. He said, I thought of her dress not just as green. He, I thought of it as lime green. So he kind of brought that up. We well, did. He brought that up. Lime green dress. Lime green dress is Michael the Archangel and John Kennedy Jr. So. so, Hidden Witness matches 153. How about this one? CIA, CIA, NSA, double agent. So it sounds like he was in the CIA, so Jr. was in the CIA and he was a double agent for the NSA. See, uh, I played the fool. Remember, the fool and the comms and the yeah, decoding JFK Jr. and all that comes up. I'm the chosen one. Michael, Michael, Michael. Remember the times three for the strongest power of a spell or a magic and things. Michael, Michael, Michael. Birthday event. So I wonder if that means on one of the birthdays they could be coming out. Some, but something could happen. Um, yeah. So Michael is Jesus matches one five three. <laughs> now all of these things match. Like all of the next things all match one five three, which is John Kennedy Jr. Like I said over and over again. Remember, I'm always talking about the white hat false flags and all the chaos that will look like it's happening and it won't be real. Okay, this all matches it. Um, 153, all of it. Emergency exit, the roaring fire, New York UFO, like, you know, we have Project Blue Beam and all the off-planet stuff and it could look like a UFOs are invading and it'll be all over the news and, you know. Um, flawless attack. Earth burned up, planet Nibiru, or Nibiru. Um, yeah, like it's gonna look like we're having a collision with asteroids or that planet, that planet X and all that stuff. And yeah, burnt at the stake. Sun erupts, sonic weapons, November L or well, I should say it the other way, Elenin, which is a comet or asteroid, some one of those. Elenin, November. Horrible event. That could be all of these things. Also could be um, POTUS looking like he's gone, like I've talked about earlier, which won't be true. Um, predator drone, false flag, alien plan. So anyway, on that happy note, <laughs> get your supplies because I wonder if it'll look like chaos for four weeks, you know, like instead of just a short, short time, maybe it'll be like four weeks and it'll be day by day. Oh my gosh, look what's happening now. You know, I don't know. I wonder. I don't know. Anyway, 
If you have questions, put it in the comment area. Um, I'll try to answer if I if I know something. And uh, I'm gonna try to do a live stream at some point. I don't know if you guys are interested. I know some people are from all over the place watching at different time zones. If you are at a certain time zone, maybe you could write down in the comments what, what time zone you're in and we can see from people who comment what time zone would be the best one to do. I'm flexible. So anyway, so take care and um, don't worry. Really, don't worry. And uh, no matter what happens, don't worry. Right? So have a good night. Have a good day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.